Well, good morning everybody from, where are we? Clinton, PA, at the Flying J. It rained last night. We're about a half hour from our delivery. The GPS is wanting to send me all over Hill and Dale and up a road <coughs> that I know you're not allowed to go on. If you can see this or not. I just wanted to send me up that Route 64. You're not allowed up that road. You have to go up this highway here. What's that highway called? McDonnelly Highway. That's for truckers. Been up there. I picked up in Lock Haven before. Or delivered in Lock Haven. Black Bear, you know what I'm talking about. <coughs> and then we're going to get on the 220 and head into Williamsport, PA. Drop off these foam... Yeah, that's better. Drop off these foam... whatever they are... that they hand-loaded, because they don't weigh anything. Then we'll head down to Flying J, take a shower, cleaned up, go to our next pickup, which is some kind of uh, food, something, going into New Jersey. We'll stop and have dinner with the wife at the country club. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Make a delivery and sit home for three days. Yeah, that's the plan. So, let's get rolling. Let's get rolling out of the Flying J in Clinton, PA. I already did my pre-trip. Went out and checked everything out. I waited till the rain stopped. All's good. Remember how to get the heck out of here. We're, we're good. There's a guy parked next to me last night. And he must have moved. My APU was running all night. empty when I got here this morning. You know that steering noise you just heard that they're going to fix. is amplified through this microphone big time. It's not even close to that loud inside the truck. As a matter of fact, you have to listen very close just to hear it. Holy speed bump. On the GPS, we're going to go on the route that we know is correct. Yeah. And yesterday was 9/11. Everybody remember 9/11? And 
11, 2001. One thing a lot of people don't know about me, I don't even know if my family knows about this. I guess they did, but they might have forgot. But at the time, I, it's when I owned my first trucking company. It was leased on to a overnight delivery system. I don't know. We don't want to say their name. And everything went down and after that first night they were saying that the first responders needed uh, water, dog food for the search dogs. And supplies, you know, they needed supplies. So within half a day, the town where I lived, or that's where I lived, or was it near the terminal there? They filled up three 53-foot 18-wheelers of supplies and contacted me to take it into New York City. So at the time I had three trucks and this particular carrier told me don't go. do it. What do you mean don't do it? I think that was the beginning of the end of me with that particular company. You know, I stayed another three years. They didn't want us to go. And it did have their brand all over my trucks, so. Regardless, we went anyway. So you wanna cancel my contract when I get back? I'm sure that'll be good publicity, huh? Taking water and supplies up to the first responders at ground zero, and you don't wanna go? What? So we filled the trucks. We all butt up the New Jersey Turnpike. We get to the George Washington Bridge and then we came back down into Manhattan. And I had a police escort that you just couldn't imagine. You just couldn't imagine this police escort we had. They stopped traffic everywhere. They had sirens going, lights going. Yeah. Getting a little uh, choked up talk, thinking about it. zero. We were there for probably two or three hours. Unloading stuff. Just walking around. I, I did have a, a, they handed me a white respirator mask. And I, I can't remember if I had it on or not. responders are all done. 
sign of lung cancer. And as far as I know, everybody that went with me that night is still alive and okay. And I just recently, well, within six months, had a chest x-ray and a whole checkout, and uh, my lungs are clear. But a lot of people are dying from that dust. from those buildings was 20 to 60 foot high for eight blocks and if you've ever been to New York City a block is a long way I remember that vividly and it was pitch black in 0.2 miles turn left on Frank D. O'Reilly Highway US 220 Okay, we'll do. So people reflect back and think, do you remember where you were on 9-11? Continue on this road for 30 miles. And I sure do. I was there. So when you leave your little unpatriotic comments on my blog, think twice. Pennsylvania. Going to one of those places right there. I don't know which one. In 1,000 feet, turn left on South Reach Road. Oh, I think it's that building. Right next to... Right next to the unnamed... shipping company that I worked for, well, was leased on to. Will do. What is the name of this place? I like 
to see. An empty shipping dock. Oh yeah. All right, let's go in and see what the story is. And then we'll back it down into this dock. All right, I'll be back. Right, that was fast. Made our delivery. Now we're off. Off to the Flying J. I have some Folgers 1850, which is just as good as Bean to Cup. Pretty good. But we're going to get some Bean to Cup. We're going to cruise through these mountains. So, we'll check back in. Wide load. Is he getting off? Yeah. Well, we stopped at Rudder's truck stop on 322 here in uh, Pennsylvania. What a great stop. Nice place, clean inside. Did a little half hour break. Now we're off to Montville, PA. Pick up our load of whatever the heck it is. Yeah. And I 
gonna make the light. Just waiting for grandma here to get down the hill. thinking that I was going to be the typical super trucker and just pull out in front of her. Yeah, not going to happen. Approaching destination in 1,000 feet on the right side. All right. on the left side. I'm thinking that's it. You have arrived at your destination. On the right side, 3775 Headland Road. No, it's on the left side. And that's not the name of the company either. But we'll see. Go in and figure out what's going on, and we'll. That guy's. That's a born. Hey, born. You know, pop pop. Him? <laughs> 